Okay, this is a video of a trailer I've highly modified, and I thought with all the things I've done to it, it'd be a good idea to put all this stuff on the uh, web so people can get uh, good ideas to do to the stuff to their trailers. As you can see, it's a rather small trailer. Uh, the reason I went with this one is uh, the motor blew up in my truck, and my little car, which is a Hyundai Accent, is the only thing I had available to pull my four-wheeler with. Now, um, I bought this trailer at Tractor Supply, and because it had rust on it, and it was it didn't have a uh, rear tailgate, I got it for around, oh, I think $300 maybe a little less probably I think a little less anyhow it's well built it's a good trailer but I've modified it quite a bit and let me go over some of the modifications and stuff and and see show you the things that you could do to your trailers uh, to make it better uh, first off I put a trailer jack on it it didn't come with one and you get them at Harbor Freight and they're pretty good uh, I also went with a see a little chain kit see how I have it wrapped around the tongue uh, they're selling them at Walmart and they're pretty economical they also sell them at um, Harbor Freight I always use a lock you can see the lock on it right there keep it from getting stolen or to help prevent it from being stolen but uh, that's another trick I use now in the front of the trailer because it wasn't long enough for my four-wheeler I extended it out to the front and if you look all I did was cut it and extend it out and I got bracing right there the reason is is that in this area the front wheel comes up and so it gets the weight far enough forward that number one the four-wheeler gets on uh, fits on the trailer and number two, two it stops trailer sway when you have a trailer you got to have a hair bit more weight on the front than you do on the back and that's how you stop trailer sway I use lots of these locks um, whenever I put the four-wheeler on there I can use a combination lock and lock it down the straps I use are these style um, I use two they've got they're rated for uh, 2,500 pounds each, so it's more than adequate for it. Um, I always use a put a spare. I took I took a bought a kit uh, at Harbor Freight, mounted it to the front to get my weight forward, and I bought a trailer tire the same size as the one that's on there. Also, you can see right here is a little amber lens. Amber is always going the amber lens or the amber light goes in front of the wheel, and the red light goes behind it. Now, on the wheel itself, um, I've got the uh, the greasers mounted right there. And once you grease them up once, about once a year, you need a good shot in there, and that's about all you need. And they really make them live long. Uh, trailer tires. You need to use them specifically for that. They're rated for the heat and the load, and they run between 55 to 60 psi. Also, you can see I put a mud flap on there. You may think that's crazy, but hey, that keeps from flipping stuff up onto my four wheeler and busting out these lights, which happens pretty often. Here was the original mount. I moved it up to here, number one, to keep it away from the muck and to keep it out of, uh, keep from getting broken so often. When they're mounted low like that, you're just going to go through them like crazy. Eventually I'm going to put LED lights on here because they're brighter and use less energy and they're better. Now another trick on my tag is that I mounted it so it can move. If you mount them solid, they will break and fall off. That's just a way of life. But if you got some give to them, they'll live. That's a trick I've learned the hard way. Now I got some tie down mounts I think you guys will like right here. I took some large washers, put them in a vise and just waylaid on them with a hammer. Bent them like this and just drilled and tapped them with some Allen head caps. 
and they work great. That's what I use to hook my four wheeler up with. Most trailers now have the mesh floors on them, which is good. The problem is, if you're going down the dirt road after it's rained, everything gets covered in mud. Uh, a couple places on the back I mounted, I put this uh, reflector tape. Uh, it helps out. I also put some right up there, kind of hidden. But also you can see right here and on the sides, I mounted them uh, tie downs in three different places on the sides. And they're a good tie down. Uh, they're cheap. You can pick them up pretty much anywhere and they work. And they're easy to put anywhere that you want. Now I noticed, now I know you're going to notice the, um, the toolboxes that I have uh, mounted on here. This one I have all my chemicals, my oil. Uh, and other stuff like that that's for the four-wheeler. Now this is, is a plastic case. Um, it's got the o-ring lid that makes it waterproof. It is mounted on a shelf so it's not just hanging there. And uh, I needed something to carry stuff when and that was available that I had and so I just used it. Now up front I used the large ammo can and I designed a shelf using some angle iron. You can see it right there. And got it tied in in multiple spots uh, on the side there too. It's mounted real sturdy. In fact, I could stand on that and it, and it won't move. Uh, I have a, a jack and stuff for the uh, jack and a small tool kit for the trailer itself. The, um, the jack is a scissor style jack. You can get them at Walmart for, I think last time I seen was like 12 bucks for them. And I see so many people that have uh, flats and stuff like that. And when they do, they can't fix them on their trailer because they don't have a jack. Well, I do. Also, this toolbox is a neat place to mount all your uh, stickers and stuff. Here's some uh, good friends of mine that uh, I go riding with quite often. they got a neat website there. You can also see that I put uh, some reflective tape on there too. The, uh, the trailer I picked up cheap. Um, tractor Supply has a nice supply of trailers. Uh, they're built well. Like I said, I got this one with some rust on it, so I got it at a discount price. But the, the neat modifications that I've done to this, anybody could do to theirs. Uh, I really highly recommend all the stuff that I did. Um, basically anybody that knows how to weld can do this little modification to the front. It was just enough to bring the uh, four-wheeler forward enough to get the weight forward, to get it completely on the trailer, and, and it rides great. I've pulled this on uh, two-hour rides. Here's another mount right there that I put on the front. These style, um, I don't use the one inch hold downs anymore. I use strictly two inch on holding uh, everything down now. Uh, the two inch straps are everywhere. I've seen them at uh, uh, Tractor Supply and Atwoods and even at Ace Hardware. Uh, you get around a 16 footer by two inch wide for, I think it was $16. And you can't beat that. With the strength that you got with them and the longevity, they'll last many, many years longer than the one inch straps. And you need security holding stuff down. I see so many people that don't tie stuff down. And then the kind of people that need tickets. But anyhow, there's some neat stuff here. About the only other, other modification I'd like to do is put a tailgate on it. Uh, I, when I load my four wheeler up, I don't. I just hook it up to the car and make sure it's locked in place and then I drive my four-wheeler up. I put it in four-wheel drive and uh, it just pulls right on up. It lifts the, almost lifts the back of the car off the uh, ground, but I, that, it works. Uh, a ramp would be nice, but it, it's really not, I don't think it's necessary, but it, it wouldn't help. It wouldn't hurt. But you can see how I mounted the toolboxes on there. I mount them very well. 
That way they don't go flying off. Like I said, I got a shelf right there that supports the weight of that. And that way it don't go flying off. If I, if I ever need to, I can probably put another one right in this area. That's if I want to. But right now I got everything I need. I got all my chemicals, which is oil and, uh, and other stuff like that for the four wheeler in there. Fuel conditioner and tools, tie down straps like that up there. I always remember on your on your trailers, balance your weight out and then put more weight forward. Not a great deal. That way, when you're going down the road, you won't get trailer sway. This is a good little trailer. Uh, I like it's just paid for itself many times over. Here's another little, little trick right here is put the wiring loom on that. Protect your wires. You can see the, the wiring loom gets sacrificed. You can see how the sun has destroyed it. Well, they have some silver uh, split loom that works a little bit better, and I guess I should replace it. Actually, I'm going to replace all the lights on this. I'm going to put um, LED lighting on here. I'd like to somehow tie in here some LED uh, white lights into the system that way it's all lit up like say at night when I want to pull my four-wheeler up on the trailer I have uh, lights that kind of shine on it that uh, help help me to see but yeah you can see that mount a little bit better right there for that I just put a shelf on there and tied it in in multiple places right there and I uh, like usual I, I lock everything Make sure your stuff is locked. People get into it. I went to Ace Hardware and got uh, the same the same lock for multiple places. So that way I have one key. And uh, like I said, my next step is putting LED lights on here. Um, you can see how I've modified the, the uh, lights on this one thing I like to do on these wire nuts is that they work great but if you look inside there I fill them up with silicon after I put them in there I silicon them in place and that makes it permanent as long as it's a good um, good attachment to the other wire and they seem to work good but I'm gonna replace these with LEDs and uh, work that out like that like I said, there's a lot of neat tips and tricks right here you can do to yours. By the way, this trailer does have a clip to uh, make it tilt. I don't use it very often. <clears throat> but, because uh, it's, once you get the four-wheeler up on it, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get everything lined up. The holes don't line up too well right there, and that's why I don't do that very often. Like I said, I... Put it in full drive and I just crawl up. And that's how I do it. There's a lot of neat tips and tricks right here and ideas right here you can do to your trailers. You don't need a massive big trailer to haul one four wheeler around. Get you something the same size uh, as your four wheeler. I would advise actually a trailer just a hair bit bigger than this and so it would actually fit properly. And then uh, and I always put a spare tire uh, the greasers, carry a jack, and stuff like that on there. A lot of good tips and tricks right here. And I hope everybody out there can see this and do, up, up, do themselves up a good trailer. Because every day I see somebody that's incredibly stupid doing stupid things with trailers. Uh, and there's too many people that get killed by doing stupid stuff like that. I used to go to a lot of four-wheel drive uh, events, and it's amazing on how many of them idiots do not even strap their Jeeps down to a trailer. And then they wonder why the stupid-ass thing falls off. Well, same thing for four-wheelers. But anyhow, uh, here's some good tips and tricks, so uh, do them and you'll be happy.